Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video. And today we're going to do something a bit different. We haven't done a retro unboxing in a very long time. So I've got a box because you need a box to do the unboxing. But this is actually an old series of toys from the 1980s, uh, which is from a classic Disney movie called Tron. So yes, I'm going to, 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 to open and show you the uh, Tron uh, line from Tommy from uh, uh, 1983 so it's going to be quite fun hopefully so I'm going to open the box I'm going to show you because basically we do have the figures we do have also the light cycles and uh, and a few a few little surprise because I can't talk about the Tommy figures without talking about the re-release that were done later by NECA so here you go basically the Tommy line uh, was done in 1983 for the release of the movie and there is four figures all coming with uh, accessories uh, let me try and get them out so you do have of course Tron who comes in beautiful uh, translucent uh, purple and blue so as you you can see it's quite translucent I, I wish I could show you how translucent this is but of course I'm I'm not really the best uh, at organizing things so I didn't think about it until it was already done but I do have one of those key lights so maybe we can yes as you can see it is actually uh, quite translucent so here you go you do have Tron and Tron has in his back a removable glow in the dark disc. Uh, so those are the little discs that they uh, had all and you can actually fix it in his back. So here you go, you do have the uh, original Tron figure. Of course, you needed to have also Flynn. Flynn who is in beautiful uh, blue translucent plastic and it also has is a, a disc and then you needed to have the body so of course you've got Sark uh, with in a bright red plastic uh, which uh, actually it's interesting because it's in bright red plastic it does have his disc of course but then the fourth figure is also in red plastic but it's a different red as you can see it's quite a deeper red and it's of course the the uh, the guard, the soldier, and this one doesn't have a disc because he doesn't need one, but he does have a glow in the dark stuff. Uh, so, which is actually uh, quite flexible. Uh, so here you go, you do have him with uh, his, his his arm. So basically, those are the four figures. Um, just trying to get them all together. So those are the four figure from the Tommy uh, release which are Tron and Flynn and the guard the Sark and the guard and of course they released as well two vehicles which were the light cycle so some of those light cycles are quite difficult to find now so you do have the red light cycle here and you do have the yellow light cycle here they, they were advertising for the third one which was blue but they never uh, released it so we're going to uh though to exp those were using a system that was uh i, I there was some toys at the time called gyro jet i don't remember i don't know if you remember though or if you know about those but they were actually stunt vehicle that you could actually launch and they would break apart when on impact and you could do stunts with all kinds of things or like that so you needed one of those little uh i don't even know how to call them ratchets and so, so basically you would actually put it through the hole which is there so you do have a hole here near the wheel and if you pull it actually triggers speed uh, from it's like like a wind up toy, but it, it, it gets much more speed. So as a result, most of those are very difficult to find in good condition because usually, I mean, if you can, I don't know if you can see, but the uh, the wheel on this one, you can actually see uh, that it's got a lot of 
stains and stuff. And this one, I, I, I have restored it. I have cleaned it because it was really pretty bad. Whereas this one, this one actually hasn't been, I don't think it's actually been used because you can see the difference between the two. Um, and those are both the, the Tommy ones. Uh, so basically you do have this, which use a gyrojet style uh, ratchet system. Uh, those are not the Tommy one. Those are actually from the re-release. Uh, I do have the Tommy one, but I don't know where they are. And basically you, you're not going to use them anyway. And the, uh, the cabin opens, so you can actually open them so that you can actually put you can actually sit a figure in it if if you want so basically you can put the figure in and then you can actually launch it and here you go so it snaps back so you do have those two uh beautiful light cycle i think they're still some of my favorite toys and that's about it for Tommy. But basically, those have become quite rare and difficult to find. I mean, uh, tr Tron is particularly difficult to find. And of course, the light cycles usually go for hundreds. Uh, I think I think the last one I saw was going for 150 to 300. It all depends if you want it boxed or not. If you want it loose, it's actually easier. But of course, loose, you may have the risk of it being damaged because of having been used by kids as they should have been uh, done at the time. And, and of course, the, the, the plastic on here is often, as you can say, even this one, you can actually see how uh, it, it's really been played with. I mean, you can see there's plenty of marks. Whereas this one, I think, once again, you can see the difference because the glass doesn't have a huge amount of marks. So I don't think that this one has been played with, whereas this one definitely has. So it's quite interesting to, 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 to see that. But those were very popular. And NECA, uh, a, a, a while ago, uh, that was early 2000, if I remember well, decided to actually do for the anniversary. So it must have been 2003 then, uh, for the anniversary of Trump, 20th anniversary of Trump. They re-released the uh the figures so you had again the uh the tron flynn sark and guard that they re released and they are supposed to be identical so i, I actually have to show you the difference uh there is actually a slight difference as you can see because those are the two this is the neca version and this is the uh, original version. And as you can see, the purple color is ever so slightly different. It's, uh, there, there, there is a difference. I mean, I don't know if you see it on screen, but I, I can clearly see it uh, because of course those are lit <laughs> the wrong way around for you. But if I, I'm looking at the transparency, I'm not sure I can show you that because it might be a bit difficult. To show you the difference but this yeah i mean you you can see there is definitely a difference of color between the two so it's very you have to be very careful when you actually buy them loose because some people will try and get you to buy the nika one for the price of the tommy one so there's slight difference of color and also on the back of the leg you do have the copyright notice and of course you will have Tommy on the back of this one and you will have NECA on the back of that one so that's the thing to be aware of if you're buying them loose uh, they will try and get you to get reproduction and maybe the person doesn't even know that it's a reproduction think that is probably the real deal but there are some definitely some differences and uh, mostly slight difference of color but it's always difficult to see and the fact that you do have a different copyright on the back of the legs and what they did of course they re-released uh, NECA re-released the uh, light cycles so you do have the two light cycles but what they did what which was fun they also released the blue one, which had never been released before. And when they released all three, what they did was instead of just 
releasing the light cyclone they release them with three new variant figures which are uh, basically smoke smoky version of sark a smoky version of tron and a smoky version of flynn so basically as you can see they are quite great i'm going to show you so this is once again original tron and the tron from NECA uh, the tron from the sark sorry from NECA and the original sark of course they also did a, 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 a an exact replica as well and the the flynn one as you can see so basically there are some differences and i think the colors of the lines are slightly different as well and of course what you're going to say is oh god but how can i know that uh it's i'm having a NECA uh light cycle and not a tommy one well it's actually quite easy when you know what to look for First of all, if you get the blue one, it's exactly the same. They're using the same mold. If you get the blue one, the blue one only was released as NECA. It was never released as Tommy. So the blue one will always be a NECA one. Then it gets more complicated when you get to the yellow and the red one. And I'm going to show you something interesting with the... They are actually different colors. <laughs> so this is the uh, yellow one. Those are the two yellow ones. Hey, you think ah, oh, it's it's they are the same color? Actually, they are not. I mean, you, you can you basically this one. It, it may not show on camera, but this one is brighter yellow than this one. Uh, there's not much different, but I can, actually you can probably if I see them, this one which is the original is slightly brighter, and it's not because of the lighting because I mean. It's really, you can see a slight difference. And of course, uh, the original one will have Tommy here, whereas the replica will have Neca here. So always check near the back wheel and on this side. So make sure if you buy them loose, once again, if you buy them loose, make sure that you can see this side because on the other side you won't see it. What you will just see is a copyright Disney. And on this one, on the Tommy, ah, it's actually the copyright is different um, because the copyright here is Walt Disney production on the original one and it's just copyright Disney on. Uh, so you see copyright Disney here and copyright Disney production so basically you will have a difference uh, but mostly the interesting thing is they are a slight uh, slightly different in color it's actually even more visible on the red one because the red one has uh, basically you can plainly see that the, the red ones are different I mean they are the same vehicle but they are different colors I mean this one is redder this one is a bit duller in color and same thing you will have uh, the copyright and of course it does say uh, Tommy and Walt Disney production whereas here it says NECA and just copyright Disney so here you go that's that's about it for this line which I think it, it's still one of my favorite line uh, ever so I would go uh, I if you can't afford basically you would say oh you know I should get the NECA one because but actually the NECA ones are getting quite expensive now because people are looking for them mostly because they've realized now it used to be that it was more difficult to find the blue one but people have started to realize that the other ones are slightly different so they are looking for those then then you've got completists who have the uh, the original and all the NECA version. Uh, one thing to know about the NECA version is that when they released those, uh, 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 the, 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 the full re-release, there were two different packaging. One was a replica of the packaging from Tommy and the other one was a new uh, uh, 20th anniversary uh, blister. So you do have variant in packaging as well for all four figures uh, with NECA. And, uh, and of course, 
you do have the uh, light cycles and each light cycle is of course sold with one of those variant figures as well so here you go something a bit different and i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed please put a, com a comment below i'm always happy to hear from you guys and i will see you again soon bye